Yeah. Hey. Uh, so look, man. Here's here's my problem, dude. Is like, I, it's just like, it's just cringe, and I, I imagine you know you guys are out there under the uh, amino acid or like under the atheist tree on Christmas, and you get coal. And, you know, I'm out here believing in Santa, and I'm getting the fucking gifts, and I'm fucking winning. Uh, I mean, I just, just so much stuff. I don't I just don't understand, dude. Like, so what do you, what do you think? You think, uh, you know, some lightning storm happened, and, and it electrocuted a puddle of water, and there was too much nitrogen, so the first amino acid was created from this, like, chance happenstance. Like, you know, like, come on, bro. Like, uh, I, and I had a thing, too, dude, where I was, like, really anti-Christmas for a sec like whatever but uh who's anti-christmas i'm not anti-christmas so you believe in santa no well anyways i mean that's my question to you man is like so what do you think you think it's like this chance that like you know like i mean really like seriously like you, you look at these things like you you talk about dna okay we look at dna and you think it just came to be. It was just like a high energy, uh, like a vent or something that made these things come together. I, I don't know. Dude. The whole believe the science thing, I just don't understand it. Maybe you can explain it to me. Well, science operates on basic assumptions. One, that the world is intelligible and that the scientific process informs us of what is true. So uh, like a long time ago, nobody could have possibly thought that lightning could have a natural explanation because it's too miraculous and beautiful to have a natural explanation. And sometimes lightning hits people and kills them. And so, well, he left. And sometimes lightning hits people and kills them. And there can't be no reason for that. So we assign causal agents behind lightning hitting somebody and killing them. It has to have been for a reason, but it wasn't. It's just what it is. Yeah, I just, I just, I don't know, dude, like, I, I just don't understand the whole, like, um, I just don't understand the mindset. Like, I don't want to sit here and argue with you about any specific one thing. I'm just trying to understand more of the mindset, if that makes sense. Like, the scientific mindset? Again, it's... No, no, like, the mindset that, like, makes you think, like, like okay, like, those guys are obviously, those guys were caught up on, like, the, uh, like, the, uh, you know, going from, like... Uh, Non-life to life. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, going from some molecular, like, structure to life. And I didn't really hear you give, like, a great explanation for it besides that, oh, it happens gradually. But we can go down to, like, some basic unit, right? Like, we can say a basic unit of life is, like, like what's the most basic unit of life you want to define? Like, I, I, would, even, I would even say, like... RNA? Like an amino acid. Yeah. yeah. I, I would say RNA, I guess. Sure, okay, RNA or, like, an amino acid or something really basic like that, not, like... These guys were saying cells and shit. Like, I understand that's kind of... So how, how does the RNA... Where, where was the first RNA from? Where was the first amino acid from? You know, it's just... I don't know, dude. It just seems like cringe Bill Nye type, you know. Uh, it seems like it's just cope, dude. It's just cope for the fact that there's no evidence to provide any sort of argument or to give you any reason to believe that it just happened to happen. Well, I, I said this before in a, in a debate a while back, but it doesn't require, I mean, all it requires us to do is, um, we just have to work with the, the things that we observe here in the universe today, chemical systems and how atoms interact. I mean, again, how could a hurricane just form out of random events? It has to be the work of Poseidon or God or whatever. Well, no, it doesn't. So, I mean, I, I could apply your no, logic to literally not, any natural phenomenon. Crazy, you're just you're just picking on life as like the one exception. But there's no reason to do that. No, because like, look, that's that's a higher entropy. Like, like you can't. God, like, dude, you don't know what entropy means <laughs> if you're using it like that. <laughs> Why? Of course, of course I use it. Do you, do you think there's more entropy in an amino acid or in a random assortment of uh, elements and like so, aqueous solution? Like, why, why do I not know what I'm talking about? An amino acid so, has so insanely it, low entropy. Go ahead and define what does, entropy. What does? What does? What does? An amino acid has extremely low entropy. Go ahead and tell... That's what I'm saying. Go ahead and so tell the... No, because listen, you... Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen okay, go I'm ahead. Saying. Hear what I'm saying. 
instead of getting upset and, and hiding behind the words and stuff, listen to what I'm saying. I'll use the easier word. It's a more disorganized state to just be random elements, right? If you're a puddle of water with random elements in it, that is a more disorganized state than being an amino acid. So why? So my coffee never goes from cold to randomly being hot. Yes, I know. I, I, under, I understand what edge is. Okay, so then why would amino acids just... That's not the same thing as a hurricane happening and me being like, oh, Poseidon did it. It's me asking you how do you square the circle of this like chaotic state becoming more ordered and more organized if there isn't some explanation or some mechanism of action behind it right so you kind of like switched the entire topic to entropy but what i was talking about was causal agents and which is what you said at the end there you said life can't exist without a causal agent supernaturally intervening and allowing life to exist but I mean, you're just picking on life. At, like, I get it. Life exists yeah. in a low entropy state and life's a pretty amazing thing. But I mean, a crystal is a very low entropy thing. It's literally about as yeah, low entropy as you can get. It's a perfect repeating system. OK, that's fine. I know I know what a crystal is. That's fine. I understand that that's more organized than just like fucking not being in a crystal structure. What I'm asking you is like, again, you're getting like I feel like you're. Uh, uh, like uh, I feel like and I'm not saying this is a me thing I'm not trying to be rude but I do feel like you're intentionally trying to obfuscate the argument and it's something you Bill Nye types love to do like I don't even want to get into the shape of the earth because I know that's going to upset you a lot uh, and I know you're going to you know what you're going to you're going to tell me that the earth is flat even though there's no evidence that it is dude I didn't say like see I didn't even say any of that I don't even want to get into it but like what I am saying is you don't have a hypothesis that you can present to me right now for the like the first RNA or first amino acid, do you? Do I have one? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm not special. I, I do. don't right now. All right. Well, you know. Well, then how did I, how did I, God I, create I, life? If that's the alternative explanation, tell me how God did it. God created the first amino acid. What how did he do it? Talking about how did he do it? Well, that's. Here's the thing, dude. I can't sit there and tell you what God did. I'm not God, so yeah. I, and I can't, I can't travel me. backwards in time. So I guess we are well, equals that's here. The difference between you science types and and regular old Joes like me. I don't pretend to know everything and look down on people and say things like, "Oh well, uh, who do who do who? You don't even know what entropy means." I just think it's funny that like you think scientists have made the world a vastly better place for every single living person. So when you say us science types, herder, herder, we look down on each other. No system in the world has been more repressive or caused more misery than religion. Agree to disagree, brother. Agree to disagree. Okay. I'm not I mean, saying that, that like, you that, are that, that type that, of person. I'm saying that that is what religion overall has done. Uh, well, look, all I'm saying religion is never, is. never increased life expectancy. Religion never, I, I mean, like, this is ridiculous.